de ene weg een moedkapje te dragen dat je moed, neus en kinderen hebt. Kill it now for me to wear a face mask that covers your mouth, nose and chin for your entire journey. People are actually panicking because there's rain and there's wind but I think it's every year around autumn that you know nature shakes the trees to make sure all of the leaves fall off for winter I don't get what everybody's messing about I do have to say I hate walking in the rain when I have the wrong clothes on but if you have a hood on umbrella doesn't cut it when the wind blows a lot so who is mandatory and other than that if you're dressed for the rain it's okay to walk around in the rain i love it is it koekje op ja mag ik nu wat groente van je kopen we hebben het groente wat mag ik van je kopen fruit
Today I'm going to try and organize this pile of stuff that I needed to read, but I didn't. My books that I'm reading and my notebooks and this glorious pile of markers and stuff. I'm going to put the ones that I use in here and throw the rest away. Yesterday, I wanted to start with You, a series on Netflix, but I saw that there's a new season of Lock and Key, and I haven't seen any episode of You yet, so I made the decision to start with Lock and Key. I got to, I think, episode three, and then I fall asleep, so it says four, but I have to uh, watch the end of three and see um at what point i fell asleep while i'm organizing my markers it's almost eight o'clock and <laughs> look at how dark it still is i'm gonna pretend like it's late at night i literally don't remember anything from episode three so i guess i fell asleep right away I'm gonna start watching episode 3. I gotta take all of the non pens and pencils and markers out of the equation. This is what I'm left with. It looks like a lot. It's a shoebox full pretty shoebox but it's half of what it used to be and I have all of these pretty colors that I forgot about I'm going to use them again and I got this pouch I'm going to start using this also one side is going to contain makeup and just something for when I'm on the road something to eat for when I'm on the road and the other side is going to contain just a minimum amount of things to write with so this is what I'm going to it's great because it's just one pouch but it has two compartments so you can separate your writing stuff maybe a cable and your makeup and you don't have to carry two pouches and it's extremely lightweight. I got this at, I don't know, Primark or H&M. I'm not sure. But I've had it for over a year. I have been waiting for so long to try the Fenty East drop. I went with number 19. I'm going to do one half of my face so we can see the difference. I love the way it's feeling, it's really smooth. At first glance, it looks a little lighter than it's supposed to. Maybe I put too much, maybe I just have to smooth it out. Okay, I have the eavesdrop on this side of my face. As you can see, it's not full coverage, which I love. And I haven't used it on this side of my face. You can clearly see my acne scars and some damage on this side of my face. And you can hardly see anything on this side without it being too obvious that it's uh, a foundation. So I'm really happy with this. It doesn't look too cakey. It doesn't look too obvious, but it does help. My skin doesn't feel really dry because usually with foundations, my skin feels really 
don't know, you really feel a layer on top of it and I don't feel it with this I don't feel it with this uh, Fenty product so I'm gonna do the other side I'm gonna put a little less on this side and see how that's working for me and then I'm gonna go in with a beauty blend to complete the look I did have on this side of what I used on this side so let's see how it's going to blend now I don't know if you can tell this side has twice as much this side has ha this side has half the amount of this side this side has a lot more coverage than compared to this side and I'm already loving this because you can clearly see something's wrong with my, my skin but it's not really you know out there and on this side it's really smooth but not foundation looking so I think depending on what I want to go for I'm gonna use just a little to cover it up a little bit or twice as much to cover it up more like a blur as it's supposed to and Maybe I'm never going to use foundation again because I hate the feeling of foundation on my face. I don't like the way foundation looks on me because I'm used to my face with the acne scars and everything and seeing it all gone, it makes it, I don't know, not natural. I'm not saying I want to walk around with scars on my face but to have my face really smoothed out and also I also have some allergies so I have to reapply sunscreen to my face every hour and if you have a uh, you know a full face of makeup with lots of uh, foundation it's not really working so I'm used to not wearing anything and this is going to change my life this doesn't have sunscreen in it, so I'd have to wipe it off and reapply. And it's not that obvious that I have makeup on. So if I choose to just wipe it off and not reapply it, it's not going to have any effect on the way I look that day. So I'm really happy with this product. I really am. And... I think I'm going to also get number 20, which is um, one, just one tiny bit darker because this is kind of my winter color. And if I buy one tint darker, it's going to help me in the summer because I'm browner in the summer. Yeah. I'm almost at the movie theater. I'm going to see Phantom today, and in the movie theater, we're not allowed, we're not uh, obligated to wear masks anymore. But you have to show your QR code of your vaccination when you're entering the movie theater. So it's pro and a con because people who are vaccinated can still get sick. There's a small line. some bubble tea with coconut milk and lychee pumps. I really hope it's tasty. I really hope it's everything I'm expecting of it. It's really good. <laughs> 